Hi, as you might already have heard, the new OpenAI models provide a new functionality called function calling, which makes it easier to interact with external tools or services, like REST API for example. This video is focused on the possible impacts of this new functionality, and I think it's huge. I will first give you my opinion on why I think this way, and then discuss my expected implications on function calling. Please post your opinion on my thoughts to allow a respectful and open discussion, since this is of course only my personal opinion on this topic. If you looked for a detailed introduction in this topic, please check out these two videos. So you might have seen multiple cool AI projects like AutoGPT or Baby AGI with a lot of GitHub stars. While these projects are of course cool and really fancy, they are far from providing some production readiness where businesses would use them in large scale applications and actually would make a lot of money with it. Large enterprise applications normally run with a standardized interface like for example a REST service and normally run as container applications somewhere in the cloud, for example on a big Kubernetes cluster and are scaled on multiple instances. To be able to do this, as a company, you need to be able to somehow control your application. Normal LLM calls give you quite a lot of control, but make it hard to add custom functionality to a service like creating databases. On the other hand, you have got agents which are very powerful, but often mess up their tasks and make everything quite expensive since they make requests to the API multiple times. They also give you far less control over the output. So far, I don't think agents are the future. I think for most applications, the future is somewhere in between. A good solution can be to use custom functions with function calling and work with an API. I already have got a tutorial on this framework on YouTube. So now I want to show you how I would do this. So just a little reminder, if you don't know or forgot how function calling with OpenAI works. You make a request to OpenAI and also pass a list of function descriptions. Based on the input to the LLM, it will decide whether it needs a function to answer the request or not. If a function is needed, the LLM will suggest the function name and parameters to pass to the function. You then call the function with the suggested input and pass the result to the LLM again, which will create a final answer. So this here is a very simple application which is already running in the cloud online. And as you can see, I've got multiple endpoints here and this is just a simple CRUD application where you can get your to-dos, you can post a new to-do, you can update a to-do, get a single to-do, delete a to-do and so on. Nothing special, I think everybody who knows a little bit about REST APIs knows what this application does. So I'm here in VS Code. I've got a main.py which controls my application and then in this app, directory there are three files definitions.py which hold the function calling definitions and then the functions itself are in the functions.py and then a handler.py which actually holds all the business logic how to make requests and so on. So inside the functions file there are functions which allow us to interact with the API. For example here we want to get all of our to-dos we make a request to this endpoint and we can also pass uh, completed here and that means we only get back completed to-do's, otherwise we would get all to-do's back. Then we of course want to create a to-do, we make a post request here with the data we can, um, want to be able to pass here. Then we want to update a to-do of course. Then we want to be able to delete a to-do and we also want to have the possibility here to delete all to-do's with a single call. So we've got five functions and based on the input to the LLM, for example, if I type show me all of my to-do's, I want the LLM to decide to use this function here. So what I want to do now is if I make a request to the LLM with show me all of my to-dos, I want the LLM to know that it should suggest that we call this get to dos function. And to do this, we don't pass the actual functions to the LLM, but we pass in the function definitions and call these functions ourselves. So our definitions are just a list of function descriptions and these are dictionaries, as you can see here, there is a name and a description. The name has to match the actual function. So this function definition belongs to this function. So we describe it here, um, get a list of to-dos, optionally filtered by their completion status. And this description is very important for the LLM to know whether to use a function or not. Then we also pass in some properties like completed, which is a Boolean and also a description whether to only return completed to-dos. So this is important information for the LLM to decide whether it should use a function or, or not. We have to do this, of course, for our other functions too. For example, for create to-do, it looks like this, where we provide an ID, a task, and is completed. As you can see, everything is described 
here in my dictionary and then we use it for update to do for delete to do and for delete all to do's this is the shortest one because we actually call only other functions so we've got five function descriptions and we've got five corresponding functions okay now we can work on the handler.py we first have to import some packages like json os openai and .env to load our api key which is stored here in the .env file and then we create a class called openai handler this gets three parameters in the constructor api functions function definitions and the model as i see here these api functions have to be a dictionary with functions and i forgot one step here inside the functions.py we have to store all of our functions inside a dictionary so the functions are stored in this way where the key matches the actual function name because the llm will suggest for example we should call the get to do's method then we will just call the get method of the dictionary to retrieve the actual correct function so back in the handler.py we first load our .env file and then pass in the environment file as property to the openai module so after this we store the parameters of the constructor as attributes of the class instance so after that we will create a send message method where we give in one parameter the query and we will make a request to openai with the chat completion class and we will make a request here with the create class and in addition to the older models we pass in this functions parameter here and we just pass in the function definitions to make the request so the model will now decide whether it should give us back a real response or give us back a suggestion to make a function call so when we get back the message from openai we want to process this message in another method called process function call and we know that we should call a function if the response from openai has got this function call dictionary in it this function call dictionary looks like this it has a name attribute and also arguments and we retrieve the correct information from it for example we get back the correct function name we should call by extracting the function call key and then we extract the name the function args json so the arguments we want to call we get back like this and then we just pass it to json loads to make um, a dictionary from this json object and then we get the function arguments we want to pass to this function our api functions we stored inside this attribute here this is the dictionary so we've got a get method here and we extract the correct function by its function name and then we've got the api function we want to call and we want to pass the function arguments to this function so we store the result of this function call inside the result variable and we will return the function name because we have to pass it again to the llm and of course we also return the result so if we don't have this function call dictionary we will just return a tuple with none and none so now we can create our last method called send response inside this send response method we call our other methods and first we will call the send message method here where we will make our first request to the api this will give us back the message here and we pass in the message to the process function call method and this will actually retrieve the function name and result if we've got this function call dictionary or it will return a tuple with none and none so if we don't have none and none so we reverse it here if we've got anything here then we know that a function call was made function call necessary to fulfill user's request so now we make a second re request here and we pass in the message and we also pass in this role function with the function name and also the result which we passed here so this is the function name which we retrieved from this function and also the result from the api call this will be passed now again to openai and we get a second response back so if we get this back we retrieve the correct information otherwise we retrieve just the content from the message here so this will be just passed from here from top to bottom and otherwise it will be passed again to openai so now we can use all of our logic here in the main.py and this will be a simple fast api application we import the function definitions we import the api functions and also we import the openai handler class then we instantiate the fast api class to create an app then we also instantiate the openai handler class with the api functions and also the function definitions then we will create a post endpoint and call it here slash query 
And inside this, we will just pass a single argument, which will be a string. This will be the question we want to ask. For example, show me all of my to-dos, or is what is the capital of France? So something to-do related or not. And all of the logic here will be done by the handler. It will handle the query here and give us back a response from OpenAI. So either the function will be used or the function will not be used. And then we get back a final response from our API. So then we just have to run the application with UBICon, this is the web server, and we just run it on port 5555. Okay, now we are in the UI, and if we ask the model, what is the capital of Germany? We don't have anything to do related, so we should get the output here, the capital of Germany is Berlin, without using any functions. We should see that in the logs, because if we've got a function call, we will log or print this message here. So now we will do this with a to-do and just run, I need to walk the dog, create a to-do for this. And now the model should identify to make a request to the post endpoint. And as you can see, it already takes a little bit longer. Here to do created, task, walk the dog, status not completed. As you can see in the logs here, function call necessary to fulfill user's request. If we do it again, and maybe not walk dog, but walk the cat, then another request to the post endpoint should be done. And it's also not completed, and now we can also ask, show me all of my to-dos. Now we can speak with the model, just with natural language here. And as you can see, we get back here our to-dos, Okay, I've already provided some to-dos before, but these are the new to-dos, walk the dog and walk the cat. So this works fine. And as you can see, this might be a way to use a language model and to interact with an API. So we've got the powerful capabilities of an LLM combined with the restrictions and control of our REST API. So nothing dangerous or unexpected can really happen here. So let me know what you think about this approach. If you liked the video, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.